Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we'll discuss about a multiplication operation in GF of p power n. In our last class, we clearly discussed about addition operation. What is meant by GF of p power n? Please watch that class and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. This is the continuation class. So before we move on to multiplication operation, let's try to refresh one important concept here. It, based on this concept, you easily understand the remaining things. See what we have done in our GF of 5 multiplication operation. The set of elements that belongs to GF of 5 means 5 is a prime number. The set of elements are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. These are the set of elements. On this set of elements, you have to do multiplication operation. Means let's take two elements, 4 multiplied by 2. What is the element here? 8. See, 8 is not in the set. The set of elements contains only 0, 1, 2, 3, up to 4. 8 is not in the set. In order to bring back 8 back to the set, we have done the modulus 5 operation. 8 modulus 5. Because 5 is a prime number, 8 modulus 5, you are going to get 3 value. This is what we have done in GF of 5. Similarly, similarly, in GF of p power n, we will do the same concept, concept applied here, but it is applied on polynomials. So, bit confused, you will get bit confused, watch it multiple times till you get the clarity. So, let us take an example, GF of 2 power 8, means 8 bit words. You can design a polynomial. This 8 bit words can be written in a polynomial form. What is the highest degree? 7 is the highest degree in your polynomial equation. These things, these things discussed previously. So let us take two, two elements. This is one element x power 7 plus x power 4 plus x cube plus x square plus x. This is one element x power 5 plus x square plus x. This is another element. If you multiply these two elements, x power 4, uh, x power 5 multiplied by x power 7, which is x power 12. Our polynomial equation is going beyond x power 7. In order to bring it back, we have to divide with some prime number. Here, prime polynomial of degree x power 8. This is one of the prime polynomial. What is the meaning of prime po polynomial means? What is meant by prime number? No other number is going to divide it. Similarly, prime polynomial means no other polynomial with this degree is going to divide this polynomial. This is what we call it as prime polynomial. So in, in the exams, they are going to give you gf of 2 power 8 using this prime polynomial. There are multiple prime polynomials with degree x power 8. You can take any one. Otherwise, they, are, they have to provide this polynomial separately. Use this polynomial like that they have to provide. So, this is a prime polynomial. If you understand this concept, multiplication and division is very, very easy. Let us take this example. x power 7 plus x, if you want to multiply with it, x power 5 multiplied by all this, x power 5 multiplied by all this, plus x square multiplied by all this. This is what polynomial multiplication. Similarly, x multiplied by all this, x multiplied by all this, x power 5 multiplied by x power 7, x power 12. If you write, if you expand this equation, this is what you are going to get. In this, if you are having same exponent values, we have to do addition. Addition means here, gf of 2 addition means modulo 2 addition, means xor operation. So if you do xor operation, they will get cancelled out and the coefficients will become 0. Finally, you are going to get this. You do this addition, you write the same exponents and do xor operation. So this is what, after multiplying these two polynomials, this is the polynomial you got. This degree is x power 12. But we have to bring it back. In order to bring it back, divide with this polynomial. How we are going to do the division, let us try to understand. This is the prime polynomial 
this is our actual multiplication value x power 12 plus x power 7 plus x square see x power 12 here x power 8 in order to make this x power 8 x power 12 you have to multiply with x power 4 that's why in the quotient our first one is x power 4 so if you multiply with x power 4 you are going to get x power 12 plus x power 8 plus x power 7 plus x power 5 plus x power 4 this is what you got so now minus here minus means gf of 2 minus their minus operation same as xr operation means minus means uh, modulo 2 operation minus 0 minus 1 modulus 2 gf of 2 please watch the previous classes so same as xr operation xr of these two means 0 cancelled out similarly remaining expression is this so what's the highest degree here 8 what's the highest degree here 8 so as it is that's why our quotient is 1 this is how we do polynomial addition polynomial division so multiply by 1 means this polynomial as it is write it here x8 x8 will become cancelled because we are doing minus means xr operation cancelled out so remaining with this this is of degree less than x power 7 so this is our remainder value after multiplying these two the output which we got here is this is the x power 5 plus x cube plus x square plus x plus 1 this is how we do multiplication in gf of p power n so we we understood addition operation we understood multiplication operation in our next class we take an example and we create a table and we will understand inverse element identity element exist identity element inverse element exists for all of them we'll take an example and understand whether it is form following the properties of a field Hope you understand this multiplication operation. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.